The DPP never does case notes first thing. I'll take him over now, Sarge. Yeah, 8 o'clock is not first thing. Well, Matt usually takes them over, but I forgot he's off today. Simon, you're running on three cylinders these days. Fire it up. Yes. You do the... to do. I, when I got up, she was... I'm sorry to be a nuisance. Hey. Oh, no more pain now. <sighs> I 
Was she taking the medication? Oh, for all the good it was doing her. Go and make some calls. Do you want to stay with her? Pat's on the back. Wolfie's in a good mood. No, it's Simon. And he's left his phone here too. Detective Mapplethorpe. Uh, good morning, ma'am. No, no, not too busy at the moment. We're really good friends. We've um, known each other for about 20 years. Sandy's been sick for the last five or six. Um, still not sure what you want from me, ma'am. I want to circumvent some of the unpleasant stuff. Peter's been through hell, especially the last 12 months, and the last thing he needs is blue uniforms and marked cars all over the place. Of course, but if you're close, then... Sometimes it is possible to be too close, Detective. So the death wasn't unexpected? We thought she had another six months, but cancer, as you can tell. I'd like you to take his statement gently and uh, prepare the report for the coroner's office. Right, ma'am. Peter. Detective Mapplethorpe will stay with you. I'll be back later on and I want you to come with us tonight. Mum, I gotta go. Oh, darling, did you have breakfast? Yeah, toast and cereal. I left some out for you. Oh, I don't think I'll have time, darling, but thank you anyway. You never eat breakfast. <laughs> oh, hi. I'm Joshua. Josh. Hi, Josh. I'm Jennifer. I'm really sorry, Uncle Pete. Okay. You get off to school. I'll be fine. I'll get myself to soccer training. Oh, jeez. No, don't worry about it. No, right. Thanks, babe. See you, Mum. See you. I better go too. Hey. Well, what happens now? I, I want to see where they've taken her. Yeah, you get dressed and we can do that. And uh, then we'll chat about what happened. What happened? My wife had cancer for five years and then she died. That's what happened. DBP were pleased to see you, were they? They should come here and collect their own bloody awards. I mean, we work hard enough catching the bad guys, and then half the time they stuff up the prosecutions, and we have to go out and catch them all over again. Am I right or am I right? Both. Uh, cheer up. I think one of your girlfriends has been trying to call you. You have one new message. Message received today at 8.09 a.m. Join that. You think he's in trouble? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on, Sire. Si. It sounds like a pub or a club or something. At ten past eight in the morning, I checked the message details. It was his mobile, Sarge. You've called back? Yeah, out of service. And he old Sparks signed off on that hit and run yesterday, didn't you? Yeah, he took off straight away, saying something about our dry cleaners. What time? Come on, Simon, what time? It's a bit early, Sarge. It's about four-ish. Did he mention anything about a meeting or anything he was following up? Oh, hang on, hang on. I mean, let's not get ahead of ourselves. He's on a roster day off, isn't he? Yeah, supposedly. Oh, well, he's hit an early opener and he's written himself off. No. Don't hear it in his voice, Sarge. He's in trouble. All right, get over to his place, see what you can find out. Uh, Simon, phone. I'll see if I can get a fix on that message where it came from, just in case. Let's go.